playing, playing on this skateboard, doing everything but his job. He's doing everything but his job. And he's playing with his dog. <laughs> spin, he's spinning around. He's spinning around fast. Do, doing everything but his job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> So there are a lot of directors out there, a lot of auteurs, and they often like to say, especially when one of their movies is not well accepted by the public or the critics, they say, well, you know, I don't care about the critics. I don't care about the people. I make movies for me. <laughs> and we all know that's bullshit. <laughs> they don't make movies for this, them. They get their feelings hurt so bad when the public doesn't accept it, when the critics don't love them no more, and then they go into that bullshit. Well, I just made this for myself. To hell with all of you out there. We all know it's bullshit. Every director that says that is full of shit, except for Andy Sedaris. Andy <laughs> Sedaris don't make movies enough for nobody but him. <laughs> Half of it just for him to jack off to <laughs> Well, he knows that if he's jacking off to it, there's a lot of dudes out there with luck. Then he like knows he's done his job. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Has it met the approval of my penis? <laughs> if so, then I've done my job. Then it's ready to be released upon the world. Grade yeah. A. Grade A. Masturbation material right here. Because Andy Sedaris, well, he was a nasty son of a bitch. Let's just go ahead and- Look at him, boy. Yeah, look at him. Man, he's yeah. another Russ Myers. Yeah. He loved to be surrounded not by women, but titties, boy. Nothing but breasts. And the larger, the better. He loved it. And made movies just as an excuse to put those breasts around him. Made a series of- action films. And I have to say, you know, for a, a guy that goes out and produces his own movies, I mean, you got to admire a man who goes out of his way for titties like this man did. Yeah, to know his audience, to know what's going to sell, what he could produce on his own budget yes. and finance his own <laughs> movies and make several of them. Got to give it up to I'm him. not doing it for the art. I'm not even doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the titties, y'all. Yeah. This man said, I'm going beyond the strip club. That's not meeting my needs anymore. <laughs> they, they, they're they a little bit, they're, they're not good movies, okay? Let's just admit it. They're B movies. And in a way, he didn't care. You know, that's fine. He was just a guy having fun making these movies, being surrounded by topless chicks. But, and you know, look at his nasty ass right there. Look at that. Boy, just look at that. That's just Kevin Eastman's that. wife or ex-wife. Oh. Ex-wife right there. Yeah, she died uh, a couple years ago. Oh, look at him. He's ready to grab them things, he too. Sure look is. At he can't even control himself. He ain't setting up a shot. He ain't looking at it. I got his hands at breast level. <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, he, for, but for a guy that was making these movies and making them pretty much for himself, you know, and having fun with it, I mean, he made a lot of them, and there are a lot of endearing moments in here. Not saying that they're the best cinema in the world, but this man is well remembered for a lot of his films that he made. I think he made a, a trilogy of oh. action films. Oh, there's it, it, like eight of them. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that there was a trilogy of of, of a certain story that yeah, we need. Yeah, he started with Malibu Express yeah. and started having sequels to those. And yeah. he just kept making movies in that same vein. Like, they're in the same universe. Universe, yeah. Even yeah. before Marvel. <laughs> yep. There's something to learn from this guy beyond just, you know, the physical and his whole thing for breast. I mean, he was an independent filmmaker that was very successful and went off and made a lot of movies, movies that often made a profit. And he made them on his own terms, outside the studio system. You always have to admire that. And one of his most beloved films, one of the most popular ones, is the one we'll be talking about this evening, which is hard, emphasis on hard, ticket to Hawaii. The tantalizing wetness of the Blue Pacific. Oh. Titties, just say it. Wow, even before he gets there, it's all sexual. It all said the, the witness. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that part. Oh, tantalizing. It's a great place to visit, but you wouldn't want to die there. Like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, <yes>, thank you. <laughs> That wall was not even cardboard. No, cord no it that was, was that was That was wrapping paper. Yeah. That wall. That wall. People. <laughs> A classic some people call this movie Hard Ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> Hard and, Dick to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the movie centers on two women that you got here. Really? Hope, Hope and Taryn. <laughs> and Hope and Taryn, as all the other women in here, they're all Playboy models. Yeah, pretty much. And some of them Playboy models of certain years. Like uh, some of these are Playboy models of 1984, 1985, and all that kind of stuff. You know how it is, though. A lot of them. Playmates. Yeah. Playmates. Playmates. And they all have the same aspiration. They said, you know, this whole thing of exposing my body to the public out there for them to lust after, that's cool. But what I really want to do is act. <laughs> <laughs> 
which is what a lot of playmates should not say. But for every one of them that wants to act, there's a movie out there waiting on them. And Hard Ticket to Hawaii is, was it for, right, for these people right here. Now, they play uh, uh, Hope and Taryn right here. They are undercover agents for an agency called the agency. <laughs> They never say where Jesus it is. Christ. They never admit. They ne There's no name. It's, it is that mysterious. It is that undercover. And now, if you're thinking that this is uh, something progressive right here, <laughs> that Andy Sedaris is doing, having you know female leads be action heroes uh, in an 80s action film, if you're thinking that this is a progressive thing for him to do, then you'd be absolutely <laughs> There's not that yeah, at all. Get that out your mind. No. Yeah, right now. Now, while it is not unusual for us to have female, strong female action leads in the 80s. James Cameron brought us a lot of them. Ripley and Sarah Connor right here. People, this is a B movie, all right? This is not a James Cameron film, even though James Cameron made some B movies himself. But right here, this is this is very much hardcore B, almost <laughs> softcore <laughs> rated X. Oh, it's definitely soft. Yeah, but these women, <laughs> and, and these women, you know, they, they are not here they're not here to push. <laughs> they're feminism. not here to push pe female power. They're not here to push feminism. Uh, they're here to push them titties. I was going to say, they push, push them titties up all up in your face. And here's the funny thing about it: don't need a reason to really pull them out. <laughs> I love that. Any, anytime it gets quiet, yeah, pull the titties out. Pull them titties out. You'll be in the middle of a conversation. I mean, I'm just having just a nice talk. And out of nowhere, them nipples will come flying out. Can't blame me for trying. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try this. <laughs> you know what? A simple yes or no would have sufficed. But he's like, well, goddamn, like, I wouldn't even talk about all that. Yeah, he's like, you know, I was expecting just an answer. You know, the just movie, to let you know. Yeah, yeah the, and the movie looks for any excuse to pull those titties out. Taryn, we need to figure out what just happened. Let's unload and hit the jacuzzi. I do my best thinking there. Now, why does she do her best <laughs> thinking in the jacuzzi? What? Because... Diamond! These must be worth a fortune. No wonder they tried to kill us. We are in big trouble. Because titties, that's why. Because when she's in the jacuzzi, she has to take her top she's off. Be yeah, and she's doing like police work up in our <laughs> a secret agent work in the jacuzzi with her titties hanging all out. But keep in mind, this is where she does her best thinking. Yeah. That's, that, that scene made me anxious. Just because I was like, if there's any place you're gonna look at loose diamonds, right. it would not be in a jacuzzi. It would not be in a jacuzzi. Oh. <laughs> but you don't understand, Martin. I cannot think when my titties can't breathe. No, I know, of course. At least that's an, an, an explanation. <laughs> You know, I do my best, it's stupid. I do my best thing in looking at diamonds and evidence in the jacuzzi with my hanging out. But it's, they, they attempted to explain uh -huh. something. They attempted to say, to say something. Um, there are times when a movie just comes to a halt. Yep. <laughs> just to watch a woman undress. The movie, like the movie just stopped. Wait, hold on, hold on, titties. Check this out. Wait, 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 we were in the middle of a story. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, wasn't, it wasn't a great story. We were in the middle of a story. And this, great story. It, it, Ari, I, I forgot what it, it I lost was the thread. They had a they they had a plot. You know, they, they found some diamonds that they that, that belonged to a criminal. They got to figure out what to do with it. But hold on, y'all. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. We get we get to that later. Titties. Okay, <laughs> now, back to my story. Yeah, to our previous schedule bullshit. Now, hold on. What gives me is that how long it takes you to yes. get undressed. Like you said, you ain't lying, boy. The movie stops. The movie stops. It halts. Wait, she about to get naked? Everybody shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, the movie's a... Was she completely naked or was it just... No, she was oh, okay. right. Yeah, yeah they, they always get topless. But it's one of these things, you watch a movie, if you look down you, and something else distracts you, when it gets quiet, Look up. Because anytime it's quiet, yeah, it's somebody's titty. taking their clothes off. Yep, yep, you were right. You were so right. Now, <laughs> back to our story. Now, back, back to our story. <laughs> that, shit, that shit started from another scene and ended with another scene. Yeah, I'm telling you. Me, meanwhile, <laughs> I mean, he, this man, now that's the director. That director said, we're going to take our time. I ain't yelling cut. We're going to sit here. We all going to sit here and enjoy this shit. <laughs> and nobody on set said, everybody was into it. Everybody was quiet. 
Now, uh, here's, a, here, now here's a funny thing. <laughs> because cause some dudes Jesus. are like, now this is what I love right here, because some dudes are like, shit, everybody put them titties out. I can't wait for this broad back here to put her titties out. Well. Well, thanks, honey. I needed that. Shit! No. <laughs> you got me! <laughs> and not only is the dude be bald, too. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. You know, if you stick around, though, you might you might find something you like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you knew that got some dudes up there. You know, you, you know. Oh, yeah, your mind's like, oh, okay, wait to see her. Yeah, yeah see you her. knew what she like, like, oh, shit, here we yeah, go. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 well, it's already out yeah, now. We yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we here, here now. Yeah, <laughs> just keep on doing what you're doing, girl. Yeah, I just. Uh, <laughs> I was saying, hilarious. but but already from that. That's right, honey. Yeah, yeah I know. He oh. was like, "That's right, honey." <laughs> yeah, when I saw that, because I was like, because they have a close up on him. Uh, it's a transvestite dude in here. Uh, apparently he's in the one of the other movies too. Yeah. Uh, but you, man, they did a close up on him earlier, and I was like, "Damn, that makeup is caked on." Yeah, bad. Oh, yeah, sure. But then when I heard him talk, I needed that. I'm like, "Oh hell yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. 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 As soon as I heard that, I knew. Yeah, I was like, like Paul up in here. <laughs> the other dude's like, "Well, I kind of like a smoky voice." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> See where this goes. Yeah. I needed that, honey. <laughs> That's right, baby. Take it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, the women, are so much better than the guys in this movie. The guys oh, are man. all over the place. Yeah, shit this. The guys are shit all over the floor in this movie, man. Uh, <laughs> your two main guys up in here, uh, Rowdy and Jade, good-looking dudes, but dorks. Confucius say, man with deadly hands must be very oh. oh, fuck it, fools. That's yeah. like, <laughs> and being racist. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and idiots, yes. Yeah. And, and hey, it's the 80s, though, you know. Yeah, oh, no, you're yeah, right. Yeah, they probably make him in front of Bruce Lee more than just Asian people in yeah. general. But but still can't even yeah. do it right. Can't yeah. even be racist right. <laughs> no. Can't even be a good acting when just, they're racist. Just, just goofballs, man. Yeah. Uh, and they're supposed to be the top agents. Yeah, they're supposed to be. <laughs> they're supposed <laughs> to be goofy. The, these two goofy sons of bitches, and they're supposed to be top agents. <laughs> goofy as hell. One of them can't even shoot. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Practice, Rowdy. Practice. <laughs> you know that one was the same shot over again, right? Yeah. No, the same shot twice when he shot the, like the, the chair. Was that the same shot? That was the same yeah. shot. I swear to God, it was. No, because the dudes. Let me see. Pretty sure. Oh, you know what? I think, yeah. dude, you were right. Yeah, I it think, looked like it was. I think you're right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be all slow the same way. <laughs> and since he can't shoot, that's why he goes around carrying a bazooka. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he can't hit shit. <laughs> God damn. Precision. <laughs> Yeah, he got that, that. This is what he uses, and, and, and they, 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 they actually made that a joke on purpose. Right, for right, movies. right. Okay, but he used that enough. bazooka for everything, like turn off a light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like cheap wiggle. Now, those guys are cool compared to the other guys that we got in here because the other guys, are, the rest of them, they're just creeps, man. Uh, Andy Sedaris, the director, makes a, an appearance mm -hmm. here. And it, it is uncanny how his character predicts an actual real life figure that we all know about today. Charlotte, Charlotte, thank goodness you've decided to come. Charlotte, I'm not just some fast talking New York television director. You practically raped me last night. That was last night, Charlotte. This is today. Oh. <laughs> that was 12 hours ago. We still talking about this shit? <laughs> you gotta learn that shit to go. Yeah, go Why are you bringing up old shit? Yeah, we try, I'm trying to eat lunch. Why are you, that Why are you ruining the mood? Can we have a conversation? <laughs> Charlotte, that was last you night. bringing up yeah, ancient history? Yeah. God. God, it was 12 hours ago. Shit, 12 hours ago. You, man. Still, you still worried about that? Dressed like Harvey Weinstein, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Not only, exactly, not only does he act like Harvey Weinstein, but he looks like him. Yeah, he yeah. does. Dressed like him and everything. Dressed, yeah. yeah. As far as just being obnoxious, my man Ashley. 
<laughs> Ashley right here. Ash, and you can tell Ashley is the one. Oh, yeah. The one in a, in a Hawaiian shirt. Right you, can, middle. you can tell just how sleazy he is just by the way that shirt is open. All yep. the chains he got on right there. <laughs> chains he had is a hairy chest. Hairy on chest. He's got ADD because he, he cannot stop talking. He has, not only does he have ADD because he can't stop talking, he has ADD when it comes to women. Uh-huh. He'll be talking to one girl right yeah. here and then another one come in and be like, he won't even say, yeah, bitch, excuse me. He, like, he'll just like, oh shit, hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Charlotte, baby, where have you been? I haven't seen you before. And got that, hey, yeah, yeah, wild and crazy, crazy guy. guy. Like Steve Martin. Uh, I'm just a working girl. This joint's too expensive for me. Hey, you can eat my joint anytime. She's like, I thought I fired. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing up in here? What's he doing What's he- up in here? Every other day, oh, you know, because here's the thing, you, right here, you looking at him right here, that's a slow day. Yeah. That's him being polite. It's right. morning. He just getting warmed up. Yeah, that <laughs> that shit is tame compared to Ashley on another day or another hour. Because outside of this moment right here, every other day, every other time is straight up sexual harassment with Ashley. Hey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just that. That, just that just that oily walk over yeah. there. Oh, that yeah. leisure he's, shoot Larry walk. He's Glenn Quagmire. Yeah. Yo, he yeah. sure is. Oh, my God. He got he a, nailed it. Yeah, he's got a, 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 a just a, a signature walk <laughs> with everything he does. He really is Quagmire. He's look, dressed like Quagmire. Yeah, he's look, got a chin like Quagmire. <laughs> he's smiling and shit. He's got hair like Quagmire. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Giggity. Giggity, 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 giggity. You can sit right here on my face. Why? Is your nose bigger than your dick? Bitch. <laughs> that, was, that was a great yeah, comeback. Great. It was. But, but her delivery it kind of yeah, bad. But not only did that was that that comeback was so bad it made his dick and his arm go yeah. down. <laughs> he had nothing. Like his like his 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 arm was a metaphor for his dick. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not trying to encourage a guy like this. Not at all, <laughs> but I do have to get it. I, I have to give it to him. This man, he will not be discouraged. <laughs> you he, said he plays the odds. He, and really, he shoots his shot. Yes, he does. <laughs> As, oh, Ashley, don't let anything get him down, <laughs> man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, don't let nothing get him down. You don't let him pass it by. He'll take that L. He'll pause for a moment, take a breath, and then he's back to the old Ashley strut. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. On to the next one. Well, hey, girl, that's that. Look, look at hey, girl, what you doing? <laughs> she next. Yeah, but Did you, I get to you yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that at the end of the night, the loneliness gets to him, and he oh. puts a pistol in his mouth while he's on the inside, <laughs> trying yeah. not to pull the trigger. Yeah, but until then, <laughs> this is what you get, bud. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, though. <laughs> you just keep shooting threes. Yeah. See you later. You're going to hit a basket. So at one point, God. and this is not a good thing because the thing oh is when he's if he's not discouraged you know if he's not dismayed if he if he ain't got no humility about any of this shit like if you can't stop him he'll start just harassing everybody <laughs> this, this, son of, this son of a bitch will start harassing dudes hey wait you go down on her you're gonna be kissing the back of my head because I'm already gonna be there <laughs> Christ <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's even like Wait, wait, what? Yeah. I, what what does doing? that mean? Why are you touching me? Yeah, get off me. And he's not he's not done yet. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's the worst one yet, Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm already gonna be down there. No, no, no you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> That's the thing about Sorry. it, man. He won't be dismayed, but he should be. He should have his ass whooped. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah get the these are the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is the good guy right here. That's right. You haven't got to the villains. You ain't got to the villains, man. These are the good guys. The attempted rapist, the... Uh... Yeah, the, the, the attempted rapist, possibly rapist, the sexual harasser, the racist goofballs. These are the, the good people. goofballs. Who can't shoot straight. <laughs> These are the good guys, man. Who can't shoot. Yeah. I would like to say that the bad guys are worse, you know, because they kill people, but, you know, every... That it depends. It's all relative, man. Because with the bad guys, everything is just silly about them. You know, they start out looking kind of menacing because you have these two cops right here. You know, wandering around where they shouldn't be. You know, <laughs> yeah, on their own island. On the, yeah, you, 
they run it. Yeah, they, they know better than me snooping around like this. <laughs> but they, they go. <laughs> but yeah, well, what what happened was one of the cops is on the take. Oh, but there's a new operation in town. Oh, and so okay. he he didn't know about it. He's you know he's trying oh. to he's trying to teach the 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 younger guy like, hey, listen, just play the game with these guys. You know, you let them sell pay. a little reefer, and uh, you know you'll get a little kickback and take home something to the family. You'll be all right, and plus you'll move up. Just you know, just play the game, man. But there's a new there's a new outfit in town, and they didn't really know about, it. and uh, they kind of just caught him at the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> now they already look kind of silly. You can tell our, that. That they look kind of crazy. You got this dude up here, and he got damn, you know, uh, these, these damn uh, uh, jump jumper pants. Yeah, right yeah. Here. This man up here, what with a uh, uh, Hawaiian punch. With this uh, moo on his shirt. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny. The guy in the middle, he's, he's called Shades. Yeah, thing, Shades. But yeah. The other guy's wearing Shades too. She mean like, yeah. hey man, you gotta take those off. <laughs> right. You know that's my yeah. thing. God damn it. You got somebody <laughs> called them the damn get along gang right here. That's the apple dumpling gang. Bro. Yeah. Now you, they they look crazy already, you know. They just too, they they're too colorful, they're too yeah. colorful and stupid looking to actually be menacing. But they they kind of when they when they come in and they show you that they mean business, you kind of feel like all right, all right, you know these guys maybe maybe a little threatening. <laughs> you know I like the way the cops stop moving so that the criminals can get a nice clean shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right you're the, a dick. No, in the no, stomach. It's the stomach. Oh, no, stomach. They hanging upside oh, down. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I <laughs> so I look at them and I'm like, oh shit, these guys are bad, man. And then they open up their mouths, and all that threat just went away. You <laughs> nailed them both. That's it. That's, That's it. Good That's job. the way to go. Then these two guys in their boat through the shredder and feed them to the fish. Oh yeah, they ain't shit. Wait, what'd you say, man? <laughs> Put them to the shredder and feed them to the fish. Look shades. By the way. <laughs> Get, get, nose, get, get, get a nose trimmer, man. Yeah, no, man, for real, get some electrolysis. Yeah, shit, that nose ain't boogers, that's fur. <laughs> <laughs> they work for a dude named Seth, just Seth. And Seth, the funny thing is Seth is, uh, so you saw how silly they are. You know, they, they just look stupid. They about as stupid as they look. And Seth is always yelling at this guy. You know, because of course, they, you know, they, they, he's always yelling at them about how dumb they are. If brains were birchant, you'd have a clean cage. Like, you know I'm kind of dumb. Damn. You're like, you know I'm kind of dumb. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Here's when I was like, that's the insult? That's the, yeah, like, I don't, I don't get it. it. Sounds like he worked on that too. <laughs> Damn, he said, why, why are we scared of this guy? <laughs> he like, Steve's on on crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, he's always sending these dudes in. Like, the, out, of, out of all of his henchmen, those two dumb sons of bitches, those are the ones that he's always send, sending in. And of course, they're the ones who, they, they always the job. Freeze! <laughs> Look at this. One in there and both of them got their ass beat. Quick, <laughs> didn't, too. Didn't get one hit in. No, not one. Uh, uh, they, they, they got a hit in it. They shot the tree. They, yeah. No, oh, yeah, the tree. Yeah. 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 Fuck that tree up. Yeah. yeah. I bet that, that tree I won't that do it tree. again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tree learned his lesson. Shit, one dude got on the ground, got his ass kicked. He's having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, he got a Chinese throwing yeah. star. <laughs> they didn't get one. shoulder. They didn't get one. And they got their ass whooped. And the thing is, is that. Like I said, these these are I would say that these are are his worst henchmen because he does have henchmen that have better skills. Like these guys got nothing. No, they got did well. Actually, one does. With well, this dude, like this dude right here, he got nothing. I don't, he's useless. I don't even know why he's there. <laughs> now he 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 does have uh, other henchmen that have uh, better skills. The thing is, they got skills in anything but killing, <laughs> anything but criminal activity. They, they got <laughs> skills, but. Mm. They, they don't really apply here. Uh, like they got one dude named Skater. Now we already saw Skater. You probably heard you probably heard his name uh, mentioned. Skater. So why they call him Skater? Man, he must be smoking some heavy doobies. Cause he skates <laughs> and he <laughs> skates uh, <laughs> and he skates pretty well. Yeah, that's not easy to pull off. No. I guess he did that at the job interview and they were like, "You're hired." Yeah. You know, it has nothing to do. With <laughs> but Jesus, it looks cool. We'll, right. we'll, we'll figure out something yeah, to do with that. Yeah, it'll come in handy at some point, somehow. Now, for Skater right here, that that actually could have been a cool angle for a hitman. Right. He's deadly on a skateboard, the Tony Hawk of death over here. 
But yes. <laughs> sure. Tony Death Hawk. Don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't but he can't just stop with the skateboard. You know, that's 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 not a good enough uh 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 uh, uh trademark for him. You know, that's not that's not a, that's not a good enough uh, uh gimmick for him right there. No, he's got to he's got to bump it up a little bit more. Here's a gun skater. Blow him away. No yeah. problem, baby. A blow up doll. No, he grabbed the doll before the gun. Yeah, too. yeah. Before that, he's yeah. like, oh shit, I forgot. I need that too. I got the, <laughs> the, the blow up doll had priority over the thing that he needs to do his job with. <laughs> Forgetting something, skater. No, no. Oh, yeah, I got her. <laughs> I got everything I need. <laughs> Well, that's his fiance. Hey, that, yeah, he's got. I hope so, because other than that, it's for no reason. Wait, they don't, there's no reason. There's no, no, there's no reason we had that damn blow up doll. Oh, none except that you know I don't know. I guess he's, he thinks it's funny. He's trying to get a like I said. He's trying to get a gimmick, right? Yeah, I guess you know I'm the guy. I'm the guy that skates with the blow up doll right. with a gun. You got the shades. You're the big guy with the big Hawaiian guy. What do I got? You got a skateboard. No, I need something I else. Need something I need else. two things. I'm stagnating. Yeah, everybody's got a skateboard. No, they don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> we didn't even want you to have a skateboard. <laughs> and of course, he's got this damn skateboard. I mean, this, this doll out here. Oh, so since geez. his doll is in the way, he can't see shit, so he can't shoot shit. What? He's got a gun. <laughs> now, look, he's missing. Now here's the now here's the worst part. Here's the worst part right here. He's got a gun. Yeah, which you can't hit nothing with. But he didn't even try to use it to, to cover the gun up. No, he just right. Yeah, yeah, I figured he had the doll to cover the gun, but they see right away <laughs> that dude's got a gun. I think he also has a blow up doll. How the? <laughs> how the? How does this work at all? <laughs> Ain't nothing tactical about this. No. You. Of course you're gonna notice the dude skating with a goddamn blow up doll. <laughs> yeah, the you, only sir. one on the road too. Yeah. <laughs> what a blow up doll. Incognito. Yeah. And here's the worst part. Oh God. He did all this to make a name for himself. Got a skateboard, <laughs> blow up doll, got his big ass gun with him, and forgets to do his goddamn job. <laughs> <laughs> he gets, he, he forgets to do the very thing he was hired to do. He gets out there and just starts, like he, like he just gets into the skateboard, man. Yeah, this is awesome. Like he, just, yeah, he, just, he starts doing tricks. tricks. <laughs> like he's more focused on how it's gonna look on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> like he forgets to do his job. Yeah, and took the shit out, y'all. And he starts, he starts, Around and oh. let's get that turkey. on his skateboard. <laughs> Look at him playing with this goddamn dog. <laughs> and what you what, what you think is gonna happen? <laughs> you see what he was there too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was having a good time. He was having fun. He forgot. Babe, I wanna live forever. He, for <laughs> he forgot what oh. he was hired to do. God damn. And paid the price. Yeah. You're like, Wee. Oh, oh, wait. And, and then gonna be surprised. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm trying to kill me. Oh shit, I forgot. That's what you get. <laughs> Pieces, yeah. Oh, he was, boy, he was spinning his ass yeah, he off. He was after having a good time oh, talking yeah. about weed. Good Fuck you. That's what you get. Get your ass out here. This is, needless to say, it's not skater, but what had me laughing was, it's, it's, it's just not that it's not skater, it's a skater pinata. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> look, God damn. Look, look at the string. He's just string everything. Oh, day. wow. I'm surprised Ken didn't fall out when he hit him. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, dumbass. Just oh, folks. <laughs> you, you're not.
Right. He might still be on this earth right now. <laughs> he might still be alive. And I wish he was, because he could hear about this podcast I'm about to tell you about right here. That's very a dumbass like him could learn something, man. Do you remember Assassin's Creed back yes. in the day? Yes. Everybody remembers Assassin's Creed. Sure. You know, what a lot of people don't know is that Assassin's Creed, there had to be a lot of historical research to do this game. And because of that, I think Assassin's Creed got a lot of people interested in history, might have even created some history buffs out there. And if that's you, then you might be interested in echoes of history, Assassins versus Templars. This is a, a word from my sponsor right now, and you know, something that our audience might want to hear about. You know, we have a lot of gamers out there, but we also have a lot of smart people out there who love history. A lot of history buffs out there that I know people talk about all the time. I see you talking all the time about stuff we get wrong. Mm -hmm. Quick to correct us. Oh, yeah. Quick to correct Very us quick. all the time. So whether you're a fan of the Assassin's Creed video games or if you're simply curious about history, then you should go ahead and check this out. I have a Apple podcast pulled up, but you can find this wherever you get your podcast. Uh, this is where they explored the real history behind the game in uh, real societies and inspired Assassin's Brotherhood and the Templar Order in the Assassin's Creed games. So, as I said, whether you're into these games or you're just whether in the history, you'll enjoy this podcast. It's not just a history lesson. It's also got a lot of exciting intrigue and conspiracies in there. Mm. And you'll also find out what inspired the game. So, as I said, this is called Echoes of History. If any of this appeals to you, you can find this Wherever you get your podcast, just listen to it and subscribe today for more. Listen to a little bit of it. It is actually very well produced. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of people are putting a lot of care into podcasts. There's a lot of money behind podcasts. You know, they've been they're starting to be produced just like shows. Yeah. And <laughs> this one is very high quality. So again, that is Echoes of History. Check it out wherever you get your podcast and subscribe for more episodes. As you can see, you have a lot of them out. All right. Oh, quite a few. Yeah. yeah. Season yeah. four, it said, right? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Check it out. Yeah, plenty of them. Uh, so, getting back into this, uh, to kind of, you know, uh, brush all up on where we were. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah. Skate is a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> We look at Skater right there and we say, well, you know what? We wouldn't expect anything else out of Skater with his dumb ass. You know, uh, uh, the, the guy that seems the coolest out of all of them is your boy Shades. Yeah. <laughs> Known for, for obvious reasons, wearing shades. Uh, so his specialty, so everybody got, <laughs> Jesus. everybody got Skater, Skater skates. With blow up dolls. With blow up dolls. <laughs> uh, this man uh, eats, I don't know, and uh, <laughs> then, and then uh, you got you got shades, and you would think that shades. Well, what does he do? He shoot lasers from his eyes or something? <laughs> I, I wouldn't blame him for thinking that. That's, I mean, you know. That's, but uh, nah, man, we that's, that, that would that would be too obvious. Sure. No. Uh, shades. His uh, his specialty is frisbee. Hey, Colleen, who's that turkey with you? He's just a thrower. Sorry, Buster. We ain't allowed here. No. Not only is it his specialty, but he loves Frisbee so much, it's it's his weakness. It's his weakness. Ah, hey, Can't lighten resist. up. We're just throwing. Oh, yeah? Let's see you throw one. People, that's all it takes. <laughs> he drops it. Yeah, that's all it takes. If you, get, <laughs> if you get one throw in with shades, it's done. He's like a puppy. How about you get lost? What do you mean? I mean it. Move out. Oh, people, let me see here. Will he pull up? Hang on. Oh. See, here's the thing with the, <laughs> that's all it takes, people. This is another dude that forgets his job when he starts getting into his his thing. Uh, you know, he's a, uh, he gets so into this that he doesn't, he's not even paying attention. He, he's, he is not aware that this dude is turned around being all secretive, with doing girl, something yeah, shit with yeah. this girl, pulling out a gun. Nah, he's ready. He's just waiting for that next Frisbee toss. Yeah. How about you getting lost? What do you mean? Now. 
you know, damn, he sent her off like a dog to yeah, fix yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole long ass shot yeah. of just the beach, and then yeah. we got to watch. She's like, wait, I want to see and some ass running. Wasn't Shades playing frisbee with her earlier? Yeah, like you see, yeah. like that was his girl. Yeah, and let this <laughs> other dude come up, like, like, hey man, get away from my girl. Oh, you got a frisbee? He got it. No, you about her. He wants to play frisbee. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, shit. I get the hell, the hell, that chick, man. Yeah, yeah but but, he, but Bugs Bunny could just run yeah. all over this dude. Oh, oh yeah, man. Oh. Be too easy. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man, is that a is that a new frisbee? <laughs> come on up, man. Yeah, the hell, that bitch. By the way, he gives a chick a nice compliment though before, yeah. before he sends her away. Hey, nice, nice, polite compliment before oh, she goes. Geez, he's man. a gentleman. Oh, yeah, he's no, he's complete gentleman about this. Hey, Colleen. Got a great ass. So do you, Pilgrim. The boy, she's a terrible actress. She is hard. Yeah. Jesus. Man. God <laughs> and, damn. In a movie full of, of terrible actors, she stands she out. The game. Yeah. Even when she said, hey, get out of here, she goes, <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm like, can't you, can't you yeah. just, can you just look like somebody just told you to leave? You can't even do that. You can't even look like you, just listen to what he said to you. You had three words. Uh -huh. You two pilgrim. God damn. I can't. Bad. Like, you you can't get it. that out. He's a terrible it ass. So do you, pilgrim. God damn, and, boy. And, and what you said is probably what the director said to her too. You got three words. You can't say you can't that right. So this is this is funny because he totally gets to the frisbee boy. He's a like seriously. He's another skater when it comes to frisbee. Like he just totally forgets what he's supposed to be doing there. He he forgot that his job was to, to, to kill people and protect his boss. See when he starts getting good to him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, hell my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts showboating. Yeah, it's like, you just throwing it, but I can flip it under my leg. Yeah. Hold on, say this gun's getting yeah. in my way. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like shit. Is this this is my job right now? We. You're like, wait a minute, hold on, oh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Shit, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. I can't do my tricks. Gun away. No way. Why do I even have this? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get serious. <laughs> People, he he is so into frisbee that he didn't even notice that this man pulled out another frisbee with a, of a different color. <laughs> different color. <laughs> now the color should have threw him off, but he did not notice this man pulled out another frisbee of a different color with razor blades in it. You don't look so hot to me. Oh yeah, he didn't catch this. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, why do you keep looking over there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, uh -huh. just, no, oh. no, the, no, man, don't ask questions. He just sees don't, frisbee. He, don't ask questions. Put his gun down. Forgot his job, and just like, <laughs> and just like skater, paid the price. Oh, oh yeah, here oh, we go. Shit. Boy, he thought that was gonna be a smooth yeah, yeah. catch too. I watched this one hand. Yeah. I'm not even gonna move. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah, I got it. Oh, this guy feels like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it threw back too. Come on, man. <laughs> Nails. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Talk about my speedos. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, is that he does have two competent people who probably could kill people, but they just don't really want to be there. Their mind's just not into it. Not in the way that Skater and, and Shades are. Like these guys, like the, like one henchman, he just really feels like I'm just tired and I just don't feel like being here right now. She just grazed you. She took a chunk out. A little plastic surgery, you'll be all right. Jesus yes, yes. Christ, man. Hey, look. I know the other girl was, I know we said yeah. that girl takes the cake. Maybe yeah. we didn't wait long enough. I, I know. His shiny ass. God damn, I would say oh. we're feeling, but I, I don't think you got it. Jesus I mean, this Christ. man just numb to the world. For real, man. Right. He's like, like, do you want to retake that? No. Just, no. Like, just, I mean, just, back from the just tired. <laughs> like, even when he's in an action scene, he just, he does not want to be there. He's exhausted. <laughs> He'd rather be in bed right now. Jesus. Who are you? Let go of me. Now, where, where are the diamonds? God <laughs> damn, dude, you are heroin? Just, what, what my man, my man is tired. Now. You know, if you don't want to be here, then go. <laughs> Wait, he's got the pantyhose on his face. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he's grabbing her. No, no. I, I have a feeling he was already tired before he put that on. Where is the...
Like, Where's the diamonds? Just you know tell what? Me. Tell me I don't. Uh, I don't just care. Tell me. I didn't get a lot of sleep last I night. Look, just, just tell me. I don't want to be here. You don't want to you be know, here. I'm, just tell me. I'm high as hell right now. Just tell me. <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> just tired. Please. Please. I'm, I'm ever so tired. <laughs> the most stereotypical villain award goes to a guy named Mr. Mr. Zhang, I believe is his name. Oh, yeah. Mr. Zhang, who is half Asian, but I can't see it because he's British as I took over. <laughs> My man got on an ascot, Escot. got a cane, and he even, even his head moves in a British way. Yeah. And need I tell you how he sounds? This always makes me nervous, Mr. Chang. I'd almost rather try to get him through customs. The way they watch us, the no way. This has always worked. We don't have to worry about customs or the Coast Guard. He's like, he's like damn, <laughs> Balderdash, yeah. Poppycock, he Tommy like, Rocks. He's dressed like uh, Robin Leach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Lost Dolls are in the yeah. Oh, and he got that cane. I mean, and, uh, he just ain't any uh, British Bob, British as you know. He, if he, he's a, he's a super villain in this. Oh yeah. So that cane trying to be a, a Bond villain. Oh uh, yeah. So that that cane is gonna do something pretty right. cool. Nice. Turns on his toy helicopter. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, it's a toy helicopter. Yeah, and he's all like, this would be fun. <laughs> the best villain award goes to Snake. <laughs> yes, and, Jesus Christ. And Snake sounds like a code name, but no, it's an actual snake. Well, Ooh, nasty looking snake. Ooh. Okay, it's more of a puppet Probably, than a snake, but, say, but, snake puppet. but, uh, but <laughs> and they don't. And the thing is, they don't. They don't try to hide it. Half this movie is spent with this damn snake looking like a toy. Like that wasn't even articulated. That was just a plastic snake. It wasn't articulated, and it's a different it's color. A, it's a different, com, com, completely different snake. The first one looked like lamb chop, but that lady. Um, yeah, uh, uh, look at uh, it. Yeah, yeah. It looks, looks like an albino yeah. snake. Yeah. Unless he got a tan or some shit between here, you know, I don't know. No, they had to get another toy. I they had, guess. Yeah, they bought this in the store. It's a wide shot. Yeah. Yeah, that one's mouth don't even close, does it? Yeah, and then they, you can see moments where I think they probably reverse the film to make it look like the snake is moving <laughs> forward, slithering. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they just pushed the damn plastic toy out there. There's a stick on the end of that. <laughs> and those are the good effects, okay? Oh God. <laughs> those are the better ones. Those are the best ones because they got moments here where they, they wanted to look like the snake is slithering, but you can tell somebody's pulling it into a hole. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they can't even do it slow. Like, like it don't move. Yeah, somebody's like, man, f <laughs> like that damn like, snake got rigor mortis. <laughs> like it fell in. Oh, like somebody pulling out. Yeah, head. like it's on a spool and they're cranking it back in. And you can tell that like there was some astroturf or something because the grass is going up and yeah. down. Like, yeah, yeah. Because somebody's under the hole. But it, it has the, the curl in it. Like, somebody bought that at Toys R Us. Nobody built that for the yeah, movie. it's a rubber Somebody snake bought yeah. the toy and yeah. then said, just, just pull it. Because, it's it's again, wire. it's a different colored snake. Right. They got about five different snakes with five different colors on here, man. Probably one of the worst effects in the movie. But the snake is probably the most effective villain in the film. That snake people up. That snake, that because at first it's like, that snake ain't going to do nothing that damn toy over there. But when that... When that snake finally does attack, it's uh, it's hilariously vicious. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> snake photobombed him. Yeah. With his hand here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that damn puppet came yeah. out. Yeah, that puppet came right at the camera. I tell you what, tore their ass up. Oh! I don't believe it! That's the best acting they do in the movie. It is. Yeah, it made me believe it. Yeah. Man, that, that snake mutilated. Oh, hell people. yeah. And the best part of it, after he got through tearing their asses up and mutilating their bodies, he did this. It's developing. The snake. <laughs> he took a selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like this. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, he's, yeah, he posed it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Check it out, my Snake was here. <laughs> Check it out, my <laughs> All these villains are crazy on their own. Needless to say, you just saw it. 
So when some of them come together in the climax, because they all start to meet and converge, and when they do, the shit gets insane. Like you, it's already been crazy, but it gets insane. First of all, Seth, Seth tries to come on, and step in like he's a, like he's a badass. That diamond. Now he comes in. So Seth comes in like he' about to do some shit, and quickly gets his ass harpooned. On top of getting harpooned, gets his ass beat too. <laughs> I know. Damn you! Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. Come on, girl, we can talk about I'm this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I was playing. I mean, he already got shot in the face. <laughs> hey, <please>. oh. <laughs> he looked at her too, like I know you ain't gonna do it. <laughs> He's looking like I got, you already harpooned me. Come no, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> wait a second. Just, just don't hit me in the face. No! <laughs> uh, wait, wait, getting harpooned they, enough. <laughs> nope. So he's got harpoon. He got his ass beat while he had a harpoon sticking through his body. But you don't understand. Seth really wants those diamonds. <laughs> Well, that's the end of old Seth right there. No, you don't understand. <laughs> Seth really wants those diamonds. <laughs> a good bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even get something I'm gonna get. Now, Seth ain't gonna stop. And apparently this, this chick right here, she ain't doing the job. She can't stop Seth. So only who's gonna do the job? <laughs> What's the only thing that can stop Seth? Snake! Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it, bro it broke the corner. Snake! I love it. came out with okay. a big explosion of smoke. And with, it smoke like a goddamn <laughs> magic trick. Like, no it, show. It's all about presentation, <laughs> man. Snake! Oh! Yeah! Bro no way! Are you ready for Snake? Got <laughs> a full guy here. He broke the porcelain. Oh yeah. yeah. So Snake said, "You and I said we got we got business. We got to finish. We got beef because <laughs> he shot at Snake. Because Seth, Seth don't like Snake anyway. Snake Seth is scared to death of Snake. Oh, oh, my God. oh shit." Oh. Yeah, Seth, the snake said, oh, yeah, yeah, you shot at my ass. So oh, now, 50 feet away. Yeah. Like, oh, he was oh. scared. He was scared. He so, the car run his ass over. So he shot at Snake, and Snake said, well, shit, now it's personal. This yeah. shit ain't done. <laughs> I, I crawled about through you. Yeah. the toilet to get your ass. So, <laughs> yeah, so what was all that shooting you were doing? Yeah. Right? <laughs> so now you know shooting. between Seth being scared of snakes, terrified, and now this shit is personal. Oh, Seth. Is oh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm let me get the part where he, let me get the part where he gets bit. After old girl's done everything to stop him, stabbing him with everything she can find in the goddamn room. A knife, a harpoon, shooting her in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Your ass, ah. Fake ass snake. That was the ones you did in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what it looked like. I'm on a segment at once. Yeah, yeah. Those, those move more. Yo, you're right. And Snake got his ass good, too. <laughs> Pull a booty in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got him fucking <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Pull an ass in there before he done. <laughs> and they tell you at the beginning when Snake gets out, they're like, man, that snake is so poisonous. His venom is going to kill his own self. Yeah. Because <laughs> not only he's got toxic toxins in him that were given to him by cancer infested rats. <laughs> okay. All right, man. You know what I've learned? Not to ask questions. <laughs> You'll never learn. <laughs> by toxic never infested learn. rats. Yeah. Given yeah. Cancer. It's it's toxins. Cancer. He's infused with toxins that were put in him from cancer infested rats. From eating rats? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Which they don't show. <laughs> they ain't they, got no budget yeah, for rats. Say, man. They got titties. Yeah. And a fake ass snake. Hey man, you can't pay for everything. I know. Yeah, come right. on, that's what he said to Come on, else. Uh, 
<laughs> like a pull of ass and everybody like, ooh, 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 there it is. Oh, so Snake's the one that's left between Seth and Snake. But now, who's going to stop Snake? <laughs> oh, Bazooka Joe. Yeah, bazooka, bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe. <laughs> I, love, I, was, I was watching this. I was like, if you shot a bazooka that close in quarters, it would blow y'all up too. Yeah. It would, well, you saw what it did to damn skate over here. Yeah. Ah! Damn. Shit, I'd blow up a whole house. But just the backfire yeah. at the end, the back would burn them up, right? Uh, but yeah. I think he's got different missiles in there. So oh, oh in that case. He's got some that some from, minis. Some minis, yeah, that they're, they're like snake size, you know. So just in case you have to fire uh, close quarters. You have to fire the house in close quarters, you know, you won't blow yourself up. Yeah, there you go, little, <laughs> little mini, little mini missiles. And the girl, she's like, "God damn, go man, go just give me a gun." Yeah, yeah. learn how to shoot. I mean, they, they do establish that his marksmanship is so bad yeah. that right. the bazooka is the only thing he can hit something with. Exactly. Yeah, he exactly. shot that cup twice. <laughs> <laughs> and Schwarzenegger, said, "Martin, you look out, my man." After an action scene, he's got the best delivery line for it. Where the hell did that snake come from? Toilet. Just when you thought it was safe to take a pee. Take that, Schwarzenegger. What did he say? He said, just when you thought it was safe to take a pee. Oh my God. I thought he was going to be like, Jesus, could you believe the toilet? <laughs> no, for real, bitch, where this thing come from? I am asking <laughs> yeah, you a real the question. The line should have been, you got to be shitting me. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what you should have said. Yes. By the way, I saw you flush the toilet a very odd time. Why did you do that? <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, Martin, he didn't want to get nasty. Right. Right. He's trying to get some ass. He's trying, yeah. Right, this is a family movie. He's trying to keep it classy, yeah. Martin. Come on now. Come on. He's not talking about shit. She's not going to get no ass. Yeah. You know, come, hey, come on, there's kids here. What are you talking yeah. about? Come on now. What are you doing? Oh. He's funny. He thought it was safe to take a piss. She's like, wait, what? So what about old... So I say, you know, all the, all the... You know, everybody's taking each other out, right? Well, if you've been watching the movie, you actually forget that after everybody's done, because you think it's finished. You actually forget that damn... Uh, Goddamn British Bob is still running oh, around. Right, right, right. Oh, British yeah, Bob. Gotta, Mr. Mr. Zane. Mr. Zane, yeah. There's a, he's, you know, he's the final boss. So, you know, he's got to be the biggest badass, right? I mean, when you saw him on the boat, he had the biggest and baddest bodyguards. Tear them in half. Fuck that shit. Fuck. They beat him. They just walk in the room wow. and just start to beat the shit out of him. Him and that chick. Yeah, you believe it? <laughs> he go down? Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, some of that, yeah, yeah. Some of that real quick. <laughs> Save me some. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, the bodyguard was a distraction. You know, because the whole time that bodyguard was getting his ass beat, you saw my man, he pulled that samurai sword uh -huh. down back there. So you know it's about to go down. Plus, he's a... Uh, He's half Asian, <laughs> you could tell, but he, yeah, yeah, sure. which well, half? Sure, the, the feet, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. the lower half, yeah, yeah the, the, Asian food the, the shit we can't lunch. see, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's and plus he's got the best retorts. I'd say it's all over. And a pig's ass. Oh shit, it's all it's all now. Uh oh, oh, yeah. he got that sword. He's throwing down the retorts. Oh y'all. Dummies, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a bad dummy. <laughs> oh, dummies. That, that, that dummy had those Elvis bell bottoms on. Yeah, that shit. Thanks for folding the. Yeah, oh, I was like, work. man, it's one thing he's a dummy, but that's a bad <laughs> dummy. <laughs> All right, that's terrible. How long does it take you to raise if somebody fell in front of you? <laughs> ah! Boy, I see him falling and not move. That dummy right. like a damn kite. Look like, through the, like through an action figure off a building. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't even look human the way by the time. No, it did. didn't. Yeah, oh. it just looked like they threw a, a pile of sheets out oh, the window. Yeah. <laughs> a pile of sheets. So before we close, because that's the end of the movie right oh, there. Oh, jeez. Before we close. <laughs> that's the end of the movie right there, the big yeah. climax. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it or right there. shoot his ass out the window. He shoot his ass out the window and dummy falls out and that's it, y'all. The end. Before we close, though, there's a couple of things got to mention. You know, there, there are some clever ideas in this movie that the director does, like, uh, instead of just doing regular opening credits, he uh, actually 
and it doesn't look like it costs a lot of money, but it's actually pretty cool. He puts the credits on the on these cargo boxes, mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> which is uh, where the beginning of the movie takes place. <laughs> You know, I thought that was kind of cool he did that. You know what? That's not bad. I'll be honest. That's yeah, not yeah. bad. I mean, the rest of it was horrible, but that's not bad. Yeah, and it just costs a stencil and a can of spray paint. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You already had the boxes there. So now here's, I have to end with the most random scene in the movie. Now they got this subplot in here that has nothing to do with this movie. They just needed to fill out time. But they got a uh, an athlete who wants to be a, a sports broadcaster. And that's where the director came in. Because the director, he plays a, a like a sports the caster too or a TV guy but he sits down this this young sports guy he talks so he starts talking to these two random black dudes oh boy in the movie and you can tell this is the 80s that juicy Jerry curl that's a juicy that, curl boy, that's boy. A, but that is one of those 80s straight up OG curls straight right there activator man activator up in the back of his pocket yeah it looked yeah. like a moist helmet up you there sure man <laughs> and he starts talking to these dudes and they just there really for comedy relief but these first of all these the, the, the response I got from these guys when he asked them a question, they caught me off guard. I did not expect <laughs> this at all. Well, Jimmy John, all I said was, niggas go deep and white guys keep them out if you can on two. Jimmy, motherfucker's crazy, but he sure can throw. That's that dude's <laughs> drunk. He, he, yeah, look at that. that dude's fucked up. He's serious. He sure can throw. I mean, I mean the characters are, are supposed to be drunk, but he, that guy really is yeah, drunk. That yeah. dude. Right, yeah. look at him. He looks like a black Stephen King. His eyes are all He showed up. He cried. That dude is drunk, man. What, what the fuck was like, that? No, we don't know. But them brothers been sitting up there drinking my ties yep, all, all time day long on the director's tab. Yep, on the director's tab. And he, they, they, they first of all they can't act. But it was it was a good thing that they were written into the script as being drunk because first of all they can't act, but the drunkness actually adds to the scene, which right. makes them look like they're actually doing pretty well. Right. If you can on two, Jimmy. Motherfuckers crazy, but he sure can't throw. That's it from here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He you don't know where to look, does he? He focus? Yeah. And this and the dude right here, they even because I was like, how the hell can they say that on TV? And, <laughs> and the dude's like, Jesus, my job, man. Back to you, Howard. <laughs> I don't know what they had to do with the movie. I know. <laughs> it does yep. come out of nowhere and never comes back again. Ah, uh, there you go. What part of the film is that in? Middle. In middle. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's just, I guess, a reason for yeah. Andy Sedaris to be the TV exec that yep. he is. Yeah. Because he's producing the broadcast. He's like, we're ruined now. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, that, that good old black comedy relief. Yep. <laughs> Oh, when the first guy said niggas and you didn't think to pull the mic away. Right. And I guess there's no... Go- That's what you get. There's no such thing yeah. as a television delay, yeah. right? <laughs> well, can we bleep it? No, oh. it's happening. Well, there y'all go. Hope you enjoyed your trip to Hawaii, y'all.